religion today plays an important part in our society. Most of us are followers of Hinduism, Islam or Judaism, right? So it doesn't come as a surprise that even during the Vedic age, religion popped up. So let's learn more about the religion during that time. So during the early Vedic period, what happened is that people used to see rain, fire, wind, but they were really confused as they didn't know what these things were, right? So when they couldn't figure out the scientific reason behind these things, they decided to turn them into gods and they started worshipping them, right? So they had gods like Indra, who is the god of rain and thunder, Agni, god of fire, Surya, the sun god, and Varuna, the god of sky. So just imagine that you're seeing rain happen, but they don't know what this is, right? But it was really important for them because how will crops grow without rain, right? So they decided to worship it so that they, these uh, gods, act in the Aryans' favor. That is what happened back then. Apart from that, they also had Pusan, right? Who was the god of cattle. So as we already know that the Aryans during the early Vedic period who had come to India, they were tribal nomadic people and their main occupation was cattle rearing, right? So obviously cattle was important to them. So they had a god for that. Along with that, the same god was also a god for herdsmen and roads. So basically a god for travelers. So this is why these Aryans used to worship them. Apart from that, the worship of Yama, who was the god of death, also shows us that these people believed in life after death, right? But during the early Vedic time, we have observed that society did not have any temples. So people did not used to go to temples back then. And the whole concept of idol worshipping wasn't there either. So if you had to worship, you will simply uh, do small rituals and sing and sing chants, etc. So stuff like that. But there weren't any temples and there wasn't the concept of idol worship. So with that, we can understand that religion as a concept was very different than what we are going to find out in the later Vedic period. Apart from that, during the early Vedic times, there were also female deities and female gods such as Usha, Prithvi and Aditi, but they weren't given as much importance as the male gods. So this speaks a lot about the patriarchal society that was there back then. Apart from that, there were also subsidiary elements like Apsaras, Gandharvas and Ribhus, who were also worshipped along with the deities. Finally, human values were also visualized and also worshipped and these were visualized as deities such as Shraddha for faith and Manu for wrath. So they didn't just worship gods but also human values. So as we've already found out that during the early Vedic period, there weren't any temples, right? But people still used to conduct rituals. So who used to conduct such rituals? Well, for that, there were these people who the Hotris for chanting mantras. Well, firstly, they were Brahmins and they were all divided and defined by the function that they performed during these rituals. So there were Hotris for chanting mantras, Udgatris for singing hymns and finally, Advaryus for carrying out sacrifices. So people even in the early Vedic period used to uh, perform sacrifices and conduct such rituals. Even in movies or TV, you must have seen people wearing orange clothes and throwing something into the fire while chanting hymns and saying swaha. So you can understand that this entire ritualistic concept has come out from the early Vedic times. So now let's see what happened during the later Vedic period. Well, firstly, first thing that happened during the later Vedic period is that idol worshipping emerged. So now what happened during the later Vedic period is that the priests believed that complex rituals and animal sacrifices should be conducted and they convinced the people, the commoners during that time, so that they could dominate their lives, right? Because these rituals had to be conducted by these priests, right? So in that way, now these priests were also financially rich. So, during the later Vedic period, what happened is that priests became more important, right? And the gods that were there during the early Vedic period were nature gods, right? But these gods were replaced by newer gods, mainly by the trinity, Prajapati or Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the preserver and 
Rudra or Shiva who is the destroyer. So with that we can understand that the concept of religion had evolved. Even today people or followers of Hinduism worship these gods. So just imagine our ancestors from the Aryan later Vedic period had been worshipping the same gods as we do today. So we have already found out that during the later Vedic period complex rituals started taking place right. So what happened next? People got really tired by these things. So what happened? Well the Upanishads came out which constituted one of the Vedic literature and these criticized the whole ritualistic and heavy sacrifices concept. So after this at the end of the later Vedic period the Upanishads came out and they criticized. They criticized the ritualistic features of religion and so what happened? Well newer religions developed right such as Buddhism and Jainism. So people following Hinduism were really tired of following such complex and expensive rituals right. So they were now attracted to Buddhism and Jainism which were simpler religions right. So they were attracted and they left Hinduism for these religions back at that point of time. However that does not mean that Hinduism declined. Even people in India today and even in foreign countries are following Hinduism right and so they are still worshipping the gods that the Aryans worshipped back then. So now let's compare religion in the early Vedic period and in the later Vedic period. Well the first thing that we observe are the gods right. So during the early Vedic period people worshipped nature gods like Agni, Vayu and Rudra right. However, during the later Vedic period what we see is that religion changed right. These gods were then replaced by gods like Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva who together form the trinity. After this the second thing we notice is that religion during the early Vedic age was comparatively simpler right. So there weren't any temples or idols. However, during the later Vedic period we see that temples were built and people used to go to temples to worship and the entire concept of idol worshipping also emerged during this later Vedic period. Apart from that we see that during the early Vedic period simple rituals and sacrifice were prevalent right. However during the later Vedic period what happened that the priests made everyone believe that complex and expensive rituals were a must and they were important. So these complex rituals started dominating people's lives. In fact these sacrifices were so huge that sometimes not enough animals were left for agricultural work. Lastly we see that to praise these gods people used to chant mantras and hymns for gods right. So you heard about those Agnihotris. So those were the priests who were chanting mantras and hymns to please these gods. However, during the later Vedic period these same priests or Brahmins made people believe that without complex rituals everything was a waste right. So because of these the importance of Brahmins also increased. So now we should see that what happened that the religion the Hinduism that we follow today has been followed since ages since the early and the later Vedic period and it is still prevalent in this world. From all of this we can conclude that as we move from the early Vedic age towards the later Vedic age we can see that religion became much more complex and structured. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.